Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and in this short tutorial I will show you how to make a nice transitions using ink related files. You can see them now, it's going on and uh, I will use the same, same one file and uh, two methods to show how it works. I will be using Premiere Pro software and I hope you already know how to use it, so I will skip the basics. A uh, project is already created and prepared, we have some video files and some effects files. Well, one to be more exact. So let's drag and drop it to our sequence and here is how it looks like. As you can see it goes smoothly from white to black. We have a lot of black background, so we just cut it here. We'll make it shorter because we don't need it. And now let's drag and drop some video files we'll be using. Let's make everything nice and clear, let's not make any gaps. As you can see now, video just goes from one frame to another frame. What you have to do now is to make one video file on top of each other. Well, to be more exact, the first video file has to be on top. I made a mistake here while making the video and the second video file has to be at the bottom and the file for the transition ink based related file has to be at the top, the third layer. Let's make that all files would end at the first video, at the end of the first video file and now as you can see um, nothing happens. Uh, it's just a transition video file. Okay, let, let's cut the files, Let me, let's make everything nice and clear and as you can see nothing happens yet. So uh, the most simple way to make a transition is to use a video effect, effect called track mate key. I have it on, on my effects side, you can just type the name and it will find for you. So drag and drop it on the second layer and here you can see the settings for this effect. What you have to select first one is the track that you'll be using. So let's select the third and then you have to select the effect. And now you can see it looks quite nice. Go smoothly from one frame to another frame. Now I will show you how to do the same effect with different configuration because if you use the same video file that we have you will have the same effect all the time but using second method you can have it different way. So let's copy paste the effect file. Let's drag and drop one more video file that we have and now what we have to do is to place the transition at the end of the first video clip, let's say first layer, cut, cut it and uh, well you can cut it and put it at the top of a video and the second video file that you'll be using to go transition from one to, to the second one has to be at the first layer. What you have to do now is to cut the first video file, place the ink transition to the third layer and delete the gap between the on the first layer. It's important that the first layer would go to the third layer and on the first one we would have the next clip we'll be using for the effect. As you can see nothing happens now, just the, the first clip goes to the end and then we start seeing the other clip. So what we have to do now is to select the effect, we have to do blending mode and select screen for a blending mode, but you can see that still it starts with white background and we don't need that, we need that it would go smoothly from the video file. So let's select the video file, the third layer, that continues with our video. Let's go to the blending options and let's select like darken color. This way one goes white, another goes black and we'll have a nice transition. And as you can see the last frame is slightly different from the next video frame. So what we have to do now, we have to make some opacity settings for the video file. You can make it with keyframes or just cut the video clip for easier editing. 
here you can see the transition file is almost finished so let's get the video file in here let's select the first one let's make a keyframe let's select the video transition file let's make a keyframe also and go to the end of the file by pressing down keyboard button this way you will be at the end of your video clip you just need to reduce opacity to 0% and that's all keyframe will be added automatically this way you can use the same ink based video file you have and you will have a different transitions for your video files of course it's better to have more than one and uh, this way you can do more different effects please check the video description below i will add all the information i have to download some of the ink related files it's not mine but it's free so you'll find the link to download them also one important thing while doing this kind of video is sound effects so i will add some links to our youtube videos for the sound effects and of course you can see my already created video clip with these kind transitions and sound effects I already made. You can find it in the description below. So hope you like the tutorial and see you next time.